Mexico's thorough newspaper analysis for 13th and 14th of March 2024. Chale. Aaj ke and we'll see the agenda for today. That is, we'll speak on the editorial, why did Supreme Court reject SBI's application for extension of time to submit details on electoral bonds, which we have taken from the Indian Express. And then we'll be discussing about some interesting news update and the legal news update of the day. Okay, starting with the fact and the context of this particular editorial, I will be speaking why the Supreme Court of India have directed the SBI to provide the Election Commission of India the details of donation made to political parties through the electoral bond scheme and they have directed it to close it by 12th of March. So it's a five judges bench led judgment coming from Honorable CJ Justice D.Y. Chandrachot who rejected SBI plea to extend the deadline for furnishing this information and directed the ECI to publish the details provided by bank on the website by 5 p.m. on 15th of March. Correct? Now, why did SBI go before the court? So SBI filed an application and stating that to comply with the directions of the court, uh, they the application was filed two days before the expiry of deadline set by court in its judgment and they wanted to just extend the deadline. So on 15th of February, uh, the bench had said that the, that the controversial scheme which allowed unlimited anonymous funding of political party have violated the right to information of voters under Article 19 1A of the Constitution. The court had ordered the SBI to submit to the ECI by 6 March the details of the electoral bonds purchased since 12th April till date. It also specified that the details shall include the date of the purchase of each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, the denomination of the electoral bonds purchase. Now, the SBI was directed to disclose the detail of each electoral bond and cash by a political party, which shall include the date of engagement and denomination of the electoral bond as well. So what SBI, a word court has said that, that all the details of the electoral bonds, the engagement, who purchased it, everything needs to be disclosed. However, in its plea seeking extension of deadline to submit the details, the SBI claimed that information on donors and recipient was maintained in two separate cilios and therefore the process of matching each individual bond purchased with the bond and cash by political party would certainly take time. So, SBI wanted an extension of time. Now, who challenged SBI plea for extension of time? So, the Communist Party of India and the Association of Democratic Rights has filed the uh, the uh, file against the SBI extension of time and demonstrated that it was a willful disobedience by SBI. The petitioner underlined the fact that SBI had chosen to wait until two days before the expiration of SC deadline to file its application. Now. Even if this tallying exercise was required, the SBI has not provided any cognate reason for why this exercise would require ex an extension of over three months. So this particular thing was challenged before the court. So what did the court say? So the court said that court said that the name of the purchaser and the details of the purchase were kept in separate location. This factors added to the time that the process would, would take time. CJ Chandrachut pointed out that all of this information was still sent to the main branch in Mumbai and could be found there. Further, each time a bond was purchased, the buyer was required to submit details, that is KYC, which the as, as CJ said implies that the information is available to the SBI, even if it is being kept in a sealed cover. The bench also questioned Salve on the steps taken so far. Because the SBI had not submitted any information of the progress since the passage of the judgment on 15th of February. So, so basically, court rejected their application. Towards the end of the hearing, after the bench had repeatedly pointed out SBI was not required to match the bond purchase to those encashed by political parties, Salve conceded that the process could be completed in three weeks. However, the bench did not accede to the SBI request and direct it to submit it all the information to the ECI by March 12th. And ECI could publish this on its website by March 15th. The court also dismissed the contempt petition holding, however, that contempt proceeding could be reinitiated if the SBI failed to comply with the new timeline. 
So there were various factors which SBI told to the court for extension of time, but ultimately they failed their petition and Supreme Court has said that you need to give information till March 12th so that the publishing of information can be done till March of 15th. Now let us start with the national news of the day. India signs free trade pact with four European countries. The country's name is Ireland, uh, Liechtenstein, Lynch, Norway, and Switzerland, with the goal of reaching dollar hundred billion in investment in India and one million jobs. The agreement will come into force after the ratification by the EFTA states. India U.S. Maritime Security Excise Sea Defenders 2024 culminates at Port Blair. So. This particular exercise has been there, which is between Indian Coast Guard and United States Coast Guard, which has been culminated at the Port Blair on March 9th. This joint exercise provides valuable training opportunities for both Coast Guards, allowing them to refine their skills and improve their ability to work together in a coordinated manner. India remains world top arms importer, Pakistan ranked 8. So India remained the world's top arm importer, but its import declined by 11%. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute said the five largest arm importers in the world are India, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Australia and China. Okay. India receives Measles and Rubella Champion Award. So India has been awarded with this award by the Measles and the Rubella Partnership. The award was presented at the American Red Cross headquarters in Washington, D.C., USA. The measles and the rubella partnership include agencies like American Red Cross, UNICEF, and WHO. The goal is to reduce global measles deaths and prevent rubella illness. CISF ASI to unveil revamped website sign MOU under Adopt a Heritage 2 on March 12. So the Archaeological Survey of India has unveiled its revamped website with an aim to seek wider engagement of people with the country's rich culture heritage. The ASI also signed memorandum of understanding with various agencies for the adoption of monuments under the Adopt a Heritage 2 program. So they have unveiled their new revamped website. Kishore Makwana assumed charge of Chairman National Commission for Scheduled Cards. So Mr. Kishore Makwana would be uh, uh, heading as a chairman for the National Com Commission for Scheduled Cards. Shri Lavkush Kumar also assumed the charge of member of National Commission for Scheduled Cards. So this particular commission, that is National Commission for Scheduled Cards, is a constitutional body which is established under Article 338. Now, uh, let us understand uh, the chairman and the member. So, chairper, chairperson is Shri Kishor Makwana. Shri Love Kush Kumar is the member. And Shri Vattipalli Ramchandra is also a member. Tamil Nadu government will not implement CAA, says M CM Stalin. So, Tamil Nadu government has announced that they will not implement the Div Divisive Citizenship Amendment Act in the state. He added, CAA did not take into consideration the plight of Sri Lanka's Tamils who are living in camp across the state. So they have declared that they will not implement this particular law in their state. Haryana political crisis, Haryana new CM Nayab Singh Saini. So coming up here with a new appointment where Haryana chief minister is uh, has uh, Manohar Lal Thakkar resigned from the cabinet and the new CM is Nayab Singh Saini. It's an OBC leader uh, has been appointed as a new CM. The PIL has been filed in the Punjab and Haryana High Court challenging the appointment of Saini. Sela Tunnel in Arunachal uh, Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the Sela Tunnel in Arunachal Pradesh. Done by the Border Road Organization, the Sela project consists of two tunnel and a link road. September 17 to be celebrated as Hyderabad Liberation Day. So September 17 will be celebrated as Haryana Le Hyderabad Liberation Day in the honor of martyrs of the Hyderabad Liberation Movement. This decision is a tribute to freedom fighters and martyrs who made supreme sacrifices to remain a part of Bharat by liberating the Hyderabad region from the atrocities of Nizam rule. Justice Satendra Kumar Singh sworn as a new, new Lokayot of MP. So Justice Satendra Kumar Singh was appointed as a new, new Lokayot anti-corruption of Madhya Pradesh. He took the oath office with a ceremony administered by Governor Mangubhai Patel at Raj Bhavan. Now, who is Lokayuk? Lokayuk is an anti-corruption authority constituted at the state level to probe allegations of corruption against the government servants. Rikin Yamanto wins 2024 Pritzker Architecture Prize. 
uh, he has been and he is a japanese architect has been awarded with this highest honor of architecture this particular award was been founded in 1979 by j a pilzer and his wife cindy it honors a living architect whose build work demonstrate talent vision and commitment contributing significantly to humanity and built environment so very important prize goes to this same japanese architect Haiti updates PM Ariel Henry tenders resignation amid crisis. When a country leader resigns, they are often described as embattled. Haiti's PM Ariel Henry tendered his resignation following an emergency meeting of regional nations and appealed for calm as the country descent into chaos. Henry is said to be replaced by a presidential council that will have two observers and seven voting members, including representatives from a number of political coalitions, the business sector, civil society, and one religious leader. Dragon Ball creator Akira Toyama dies a 68. So a creator of Japanese hugely popular and influential Dragon Ball comic has died at the age of 68. First serialized in 1984, Dragon Ball is one of the best selling manga franchise of all time and has spawned countless anime series, films, and video games. Saudi Arabia makes it history with world's first 3D printed mosque in Jeddah. Saudi Arabia makes history with the inauguration of world's first 3D printed mosque in Jeddah, seam seamlessly blending tradition with innovation. The location is Al Jawahar, suburb of Jeddah. Saudi Arabia, officially Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, is a country in West Asia and Middle East. Capital is Riyadh. King Salman Salman of Saudi Arabia. Currency Saudi real. Currency is Saudi real. Carrier's Japan first private rocket explored second into debut launch. So Carrier's, a so solid fuel launch vehicle built by Japanese private company Space One, exploded shortly after its first launch. Elon Musk led SpaceX is arguably the most successful private space technology company in the history. It is currently working on Starship, which would become the biggest and the most powerful rocket in history once operation. Uttarakhand Uniform Civil Court receives President's approval. So Uttarakhand Civil Uniform Civil Court has been granted assent by President of India Draupadi Murmu. On February 28, the bill was approved by the State Lieutenant Governor and reserved for President's assent. Now, some key aspect of this particular bill are mandatory registration of living relation, condition for a contract marriage, ban on halala, iddat, polygamy, and similar inheritance right for men and women. So this is something a big, big, big achievement which is coming from the Uttarakhand government. Charge sheet submitted by police officer must have all necessary details as per section one seventy three sub clause two of CRPC Supreme Court. So what Supreme Court observed that police officer submitting police report charge sheet to the magistrate as per the state police manual shall abide by all the section all the provisions uh, in the section one seventy three. Subsection two and directed the officers in charge of every police station across the country to strictly comply with mandatory requirements of section one seventy three subsection two of CRPC. It shall be strictly viewed by the concerned court that is with a charge sheet police report is filed. So a big judgment coming in the section section one seventy three sub clause two. Please all the judiciary aspirant noted down. The case name is W Kujur versus State of Harkand. By two is to one majority, Bombay High Court allows center to notify fact check unit, which can declare social media content about its business as fake. So the Bombay High Court has held that in an interim order has refused to restrain the union government from notifying its fact check unit. So what IT Rule Amendment 2023 empowers the government to establish a fact check unit and unilaterally declare online content related to government business on social media platform as fake, false, or misleading. So here, by two is to one majority, it allows centers to notify fact check unit, which can declare social media content about its business as fake. And the case name is Kunal Kamra versus Union of India with connected cases. Tenants' right to basic amenities like electricity, subject to him being authorized occupier, Allahabad High Court. So what, what Allahabad High Court has said that legal and authorized occupier of a premise, including a tenant, cannot be deprived of basic amenities like electricity connection. The court has observed that this right to basic amenities is subject to other facts and circumstances. And the case name is Ashok Kumar Sharma and another versus State of UP and four others.
Now, if you guys want to revise your previous TNA, that, then do attempt the quiz link that is mentioned in the description of this particular video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself.